In today's One View Wonder, I'd like to speak about a comment that was made to me two months ago. In the midst of talking to a close associate, they claim that I give up too easily. I'm going to refute this in every single way, as well as explain beforehand the basis for which they make this claim. Um, you know, I am not maybe the most confident person. There are things that I know I can't do. There are ways of acting that I feel just are not in me. Um, and I have been disappointed a great deal by a constant effort seeming to amount to nothing. And I think I am entitled to have emotions and have feelings and have a sense of just range. You know, I can't be happy and go lucky every single day. Um, and, it, you know, it's hard to mask that when you have that in the back of your mind every time you uh, wake up. Um, you know, just thinking about, was yesterday an improvement over the day before it? Are you getting anywhere further to where you want to be? Now, in trying to stay on topic in this video, I have recently put out another book. And I have had upwards of at least six or seven people say, oh yeah, I'll check that out, yeah! And then you go and, you know, believe them. Uh, because they say outright, yeah, I will, I will definitely check this out. Now, I don't know if they meant this week or next year or next decade. Because to this point, at this point, not a single person has checked it out. Um, and... You know, I was kind of speaking about this to an associate not too long ago today, and they made they asked me if I was planning on getting rich off of these novels or stories or whatever you want to call them. And, you know, I am a person who feels that views and how many people like it determines one's popularity. And I think that's based on good merit. You know, people speak highly of Michael Jackson, who's been passed now for seven years, since 2009. We're going into the eighth year since his passing. And part of the acclaim that he gets is from his album Selling Well, his albums Selling by the Millions, his album Selling at such a record that it seemed people had a plausible and thorough interest in his music. Now, if you want to go into the literary side of things, because this has to do with books and not music, um, go to J.K. Rowling's. Her books sell, sold millions. That's why she is considered a successful author. You know, whether or not her story was better than every other writer that's ever lived doesn't really matter. She, she sold numerous copies, millions of copies, just as Michael Jackson sold millions of copies of his albums. And because of that, they're considered to be successes. If I write something and it doesn't sell at all or it only sells two or three, that's not a success. That is a failure. That is a loss. That book was a waste of time. It was thoroughly and completely trash by virtue of sale and by virtue of me. Because I'm not writing something for my health. I'm writing something because I think there's a story that can be told and I think somebody else might like it and like it to the point of speaking well of it and saying, hey, check this out, man. This is good. Oh, yeah, I like this. This is this is entertaining. You know, th this had me on the edge of my seat. And, you know, if, if I'm not trying to get millions of people. I'm not trying to get hundreds of people. But if you cannot get a sizable group to say, this is okay, I like this, then what, what does that make the work? It certainly won't get a claim because no one's paying attention to it. It certainly won't get any type of backing because no one even is aware of it. And the thing about it is that I've been, I'm aware I'm not on celebrity level or popular in any way. That's why I'll go on forms, uh, other uh, I don't want to say forms again to avoid repetition. Other types of social media, such as Twitter, such as Instagram, 
uh, Facebook and promote it there. And you still end up with the same result. I have, you know, PM'd and DM'd and spoken at length with hundreds of people over the, these uh, novels. And I have had about 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is over. This isn't just this book, but with all of them say that, oh, yeah, I'll check this out. And the problem is that you don't know who is actually going to do it. So you take their word for it, although you shouldn't. Because this ends up happening. You know, you go in there and you it, you give people the benefit of the doubt. You trust people. And you get your back turned on you when, you know, you go in there a week from now, they haven't got it. You go in there months from now, they still haven't got it. And you just say to yourself, well, Jesus, you know, you, you lied to me. But you can't say that because if you tell them that to their faces, you're the bad guy. You're the villain. You are the antagonist. For holding a person to their word. Now, if a person says, I can't get this because I'm not interested in it. Okay, whatever. You know, I've had that happen. At least you're honest about it. At least you're telling me up front. I've had people who I'm friends with that say, I don't like to read. I'm not, it's not against your thing personally. I just, I'm not interested in reading at all. Okay, whatever. But if you go and say, yes, I'll read this. I'll check it out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to look it up today. And then I go in there a week from now and you haven't even said anything at all. What do you expect me to uh, to feel after that? That my thing was so... I'm not trying to say, oh, it's a priority. You must read this story. But if you're not, you know, if you're promising something to me, I'm going to say, okay, well, this person is going to follow up on what they're doing. Most things I promise, I follow up on. Unless, you know, I can't get around to it. So I promised myself I'd write you know, within the time or the downtime of having these technical problems, I have. I promised myself I'd publish within the time of these technical problems. I have. But now I've got this other story that I'm finished with. All I have to do is format it. I've revised it, all of that. And I don't feel any motivation to actually go and put it out because nobody picked up the other one. So what's to make me suspect someone will actually pay this attention? And if you talk about this at length or honestly, as I'm doing now, you're entitled. You, you know, you you think the world is supposed to revolve around you. No. You told me you check it out. And I'm holding you to your word and saying, hey, yeah, man, uh, pick it up. And you go, no. And I go, oh, I thought you would. No, you're entitled. So, yeah, I, I just, I don't know what else to say other than to just state, yeah, I'm disappointed. And I'm disappointed that even if I talk about it, it won't change anything, but at least I blew off some steam in, what, eight minutes? So, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Check out Pursuit. Check out Nice Guys Finish Last. You probably won't, but whatever.